Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Other Record Labels. I'm your host, Scott Orr, where we talk about the art and culture of running a record label. In fact, the whole ethos of Other Record Labels is to demystify this process, is to create a community of record label owners and aspiring record label owners and record label founders and managers and employees and DIY musicians to come together to better this industry, to make it easier for all of us and to take the mystery out of running a record label. And I hope that that's what we're doing. We have episodes like today where we talk about more philosophical things. And today we're going to talk about why your record label isn't growing. And I'm going to just stop for a second and dispel this clickbait title and uh, before the the before the episode goes on, your record label is growing, just maybe not the way you, you want it to. But we'll get to that in a second. The whole ethos of other record labels is to help other record labels grow and get better at running a record label. Our website is is this hub that I, I'm trying to um, gather as much information and, and encouragement and uh, empowering resources for you record labels. So go to otherrecordlabels.com. In fact, we have this toolkit and I just put in um, a new recording contract template that you can use. In fact, we hired a lawyer to create this for us. It's kind of a generic contract that you can use if you're just getting started. That's included free in the toolkit. So go to otherrecordlabels.com slash toolkit to download it for free. This isn't necessarily the episode where I say, here are three or four things that you can do to grow your label. Um, Sorry about that if you were hoping that. But I don't need to because growing our label isn't important. Things in life aren't as linear as we like to think they are or as we subconsciously want them to be. We expect our business to grow like a bank account grows, where $1 added to the previous dollar, where it's predictable, linear, compounding, easily explained, but that's not how life works. And so what? So so what are we going to do then? How can we measure the growth of our record label? How can we ensure that our record label is quote unquote growing? Um, what do we use as a barometer, as, a, as, a, as a, a, a yardstick to find out how our label is doing? My point today, and I, I do have three things that I want us to focus on, but my point today is that growing isn't as important as showing up. And that's what we're going to talk about. I don't necessarily have um, some three or four practical things that you can implement right away that is going to help you grow your label. But what I want to reestablish is that your I want to convince you that your record label is growing, that your business is growing, even if it feels like it isn't. The first one is to take action. That's the most important thing is taking action, showing up every day consistently. Here's how I take action. And this is just a a silly example. Uh, I have three action steps that I just make sure that I do every day. Now, they're small things, but they represent a a big picture thing. So for example, I try to get 10,000 steps every day just because that represents good health. I really think a lot about my business when I'm walking and and I clear my head when I'm walking. So it's good for my mental health and my physical health. So I try to get 10,000 steps every day, even though that's kind of a silly, arbitrary number. I try to read every day, even if it's just at one page. Um, I have, you know, try to leave books scattered around the house so that I do read every day. Um, and that helps me learn. It helps me grow. It helps me get better at the at my job. Um, so I try to read every day. And the third thing is I try to create something every day, even if that's a blog post or I write a chapter for a book or I, um, I film a video or I record a podcast or I write a song or I mix a, a song. I try to be creative every single day. Those three things are just a check boxes that are ingrained in the back of my head that before I put my head down on my pillow, I, I have to have gotten 10,000 steps. I've had to have read a little bit and created something. It's, it's all pretty easy to do except for the steps one, but it's all pretty easy to do, but it represents something bigger. It represents the fact that I show up every day and that I'm taking action because it's really easy to not take action. And so oftentimes we're critical of ourselves. Why haven't, why don't we see things growing? But really the hardest part of running a business and running a record label is actually sitting down and taking action and, and saying to yourself, you know, what did we do today to try to move things forward? Even if it's just a half of an inch. The second thing is constant improvements. There's this great book, I've talked about it on this channel before, called Atomic Habits by James Clear. 
In it, he talks about this uh, British cycling team who, for a hundred years before the early 2000s, never won uh, one Tour de France. They never they they had like a handful of of gold medals. Uh, they were the British cycling team was just not known for for succeeding. This coach comes along in the early 2000s and introduced something called the aggregation of marginal gains, which is this philosophy of looking for tiny improvements in every single thing you do. And they actually went on, uh, you know, of course, there's some scandals in amongst all of this, but they went on to being extremely successful, winning, I think, four or five Tour de France's between 2000 and 2013, I think. Uh, as well as as hundreds of medals in the Olympics and in in world championships. So the what they implemented was this idea, and this is what I want to talk about for us here, is if you break down every single part of your marketing, uh, of your artwork, the photographs, social media, your bio, all of these little things that make up an album release or make up how you run your record label. If we look for minor improvements, and so this is what the cycling team did, was they basically broke down the whole process of, of cycling. And so it was everything from the, the uniform that they wear to the, the quality of bikes that they had, um, their breathing techniques. They looked for every single component in the process of being a cyclist and they looked for ways that they could improve it. And the whole idea of this is that if you can find every single day, if you can find a 1% improvement, that all adds up to something significant. You get this significant increase. And so a lot of us, when we're running a business or we're, we're promoting a record or running a record label, we look for what it is that's going to move our business from zero to 50% or from 50% to 75%. But what we really should be looking for is instead of one thing that gives us this huge break, whether it's, you know, maybe it's like a hundred thousand dollars sync license in a, in a big TV commercial. Those are great. If you get those congrats, but what's more accomplishable for, for our industry is small, minor micro improvements that produce these macro results. The third and final thing is patience. Don't judge yourself on necessarily a month, look at a year. Don't judge yourself on a year, look at the past three years. And I have often found myself being critical of how things are going this summer or this past month. But then I look back over the year and I compare it to last year and I compare it to the year before and I start to feel better. And I say, oh, I actually do see growth. I mean, it's like, really, it's like the growth of a plant or a human being. If you're around that human being all the time, you don't really physically see that growth unless you measure it up against the door frame. Does anybody do that? And so I'm not growing personally anymore, but at least I don't think I am. Not physically. That'd be great. Anyhow, it's important for us to measure ourselves, to go easy on the short term on ourselves, but to measure ourselves on the long term. Understand this. Patience is part of the process. Patience is progress. That's what I think is really important. So let's go back over this. When we're when we're criticizing ourselves and we're saying, why isn't our record label growing? The answer to that is it is growing. It's just not growing in a in a constant linear or or this graph going up type of scenario that we expect things uh, in life to do. And life just doesn't work that way. I mean, I, I, how does a kid grow? Does a kid grow like a, a quarter of an inch every single day or or a, a millimeter every single day? No, they, they don't grow for a couple of days and they, one month they shoot up an inch and then they stay the same for two years and then they shoot up another four inches. And so that is this nonlinear growth is what is more realistic in life. And we need to kind of snap out of this, uh, this myth that growth is supposed to be one month is better than the last month is better than the next month. So on, you know what I'm saying? Let's go back over these real quick. Number one is taking action is just ignoring everything that's happening, going to your desk and doing something productive for your record label. Number two is constant improvements, knowing that, you know what, today I up, I updated my website, I updated some of the graphics, I, I posted something great on social media, that's what I've done today, making sure we have constant improvements, looking for tiny ways that you can improve all across the board. And then number three is just having patience. I hope you found this helpful. I personally find this kind of thing, these kind of things really helpful. As I'm talking through these things, I find it a good reminder. So today's 
episode isn't necessarily these practical things that you can go and copy and and implement right away. This should be more encouragement. I just got off the phone. I just recorded a podcast with a, a label that's been around for 15 years, extremely successful, extremely talented, well-respected, and they're telling me how difficult it is for them to, to do great work and to get their artists heard and to break new artists. And I find that encouraging because I judge myself uh, harder than I judge other people. And so when I hear of a label that I immensely respect to hear that they're facing the same challenges that I'm facing, I find that really encouraging. And that's what I hope today's episode is for you, is that it's encouraging to know we are growing. It just may not be something that we can put our finger on right away. And so have patience, just show up every single day and look for constant improvements that you can make with your record label. If you have something to add to this, if there is something that you do with your label that keeps your head above water, that that keeps you inspired and keeps you encouraged, please share it with me. I need to hear from you. Podcast at otherrecordlabels.com or uh, come to our website, otherrecordlabels.com. Grab that toolkit that I mentioned, otherrecordlabels.com slash toolkit. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. 